Hi there, and welcome to another Saturday Night in My Kitchen, where my roommate uh, had said she wanted a German pancake, which of course in, is known uh, to most of us here on our group as a Dutch baby. <laughs> I made a Dutch baby for breakfast earlier this morning, but what she really wanted was a big German pancake, which apparently is made in a uh, 9 by 13 casserole dish. So I said, cool, and figured, hey, let's give it a try. What all we're doing is making a really, really big Dutch baby using six eggs here rather than the uh, typical two. So nice and simple. And anyway, for those of you who don't know how easy it is to make a Dutch baby, hopefully this will show you. I am beating up six eggs here. Put in just a wee bit of water to help loosen it. And to these six eggs, I add a cup of milk. I got this recipe from All Recipes. So, seeing how trustworthy All Recipes are, I hope the proportions are right. Anyway, we're gonna make this nice and fluffy and to do that, we start beating in one cup of flour. A little bit at a time. As usual, get flour all over the place. Um, you realize, of course, that's part of the recipe. Eggs were brought to room temperature, and my hope is that that will help a Dutch baby rise. Because I know that's really the problem, is that these are, again, they're very easy to make. I mean, this is all the ingredients right here. But I know every so often somebody runs into a problem where it simply does not seem to rise. So to resolve that, I let the eggs come to room temperature. Also, I've got a big 9 by 13 enameled cast iron, of course, casserole pan preheating in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. This is thickening the batter nicely. this get it nice and fluffy Dutch babies are wonderful in many ways not the least of which is because they're so easy to make they're a lot of fun especially if you make them with kids because they start rising almost immediately and they turn into these really weird alien shapes that just, <laughs> again, kids really love them. They also taste delicious. And yes, again, this is a Dutch baby. It's also called a German pancake. Or in merry old England, this is, of course, Yorkshire pudding, which they definitely do not make in a huge casserole pan. Rather, they make in tiny cups. is looking pretty good. So to this, we just add a little bit of vanilla extract. Hope I didn't add too much. This point is where you can add additional ingredients if you want. Nutmeg, cinnamon, honey. Well, I don't know if honey would work. but all we want is a nice basic Dutch baby here. So now we are ready to have some fun. This looks like it's well incorporated. Oh yeah, notice I'm just using a whisk rather than a mixer. That's how easy this is. 
I mean, you can use a mixer, of course, but I like to do it the hard way. <laughs> Again, this is a 400 degree cast iron pan. Don't want to burn myself. Especially since it's enamel, this could very well cool off faster than regular cast iron. From the sound of it, I doubt it. Making sure to coat the sides. My hope is that will help this thing rise. Whisk. And in it goes. Keep forgetting I should use a spatula at this point. Rubber spatula. But we want to do this quickly. So now goes into the oven for, again, 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And hopefully we will be back for part two in 25 minutes. See you then. And welcome back, everyone. Now for, as what they often say in baking, the moment of truth. My oven did not or does not have a window on it, so I'm about to see this for the first time, just like you. Let's see what happens. Oh my. <laughs> As I believe um, George Takei might want to say, I certainly did not expect it to rise like this. Mind you, I am not complaining. This, well, this channel is certainly called Cast Iron Chaos for a reason because <laughs> what we have here, I think, would be Dutch Baby Chaos. <laughs> However, quite frankly, this looks pretty darn good for a Dutch baby. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to pick, uh, post some pictures of this, some close-ups of this. This is very amusing. <laughs> but, well, maybe the uh, room temperature eggs and milk helped. Boy, I especially like the way the steam seems to be coming out of this little opening here. <laughs> And we are going to have fun decorating this. <laughs> so once again, this is a big Dutch baby and a 9 by 13 enamel cast iron casserole dish using six eggs rather than the usual two. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I will definitely uh, make a recipe for this or make a recipe available. All right, well, this was fun. This is, again, this is why people love making Dutch babies. Okay, so, well, nothing much else to say other than we will uh, be having fun here. Have yourselves a good evening, folks. Thank you very much for watching.